Hello, and welcome to a very, very short rant rave review. Uh, you probably noticed that I didn't post for like two weeks in a row or something, and that is because I am super overworked and super short-staffed at my job, and my soul has left my body, and I am dead, and these are the last spasms before I stiffen, so uh, I'm doing my best! I literally just slept all weekend, like both days of it, both my days off, I just slept. I didn't do anything. No housework, no nothing. Um, I'm dead. So, yeah, you are listening to a ghost. Anyway, here's a very short rant rave review. It's more like a shout out, but whatever. Okay, this series, number one ladies detective agency series. It's about, I think it's like 20 books long by now. Theoretically, it is a cozy mystery. And if you don't know what a cozy mystery is, more or less, it is like a traditional mystery. It plays by the rules. It gives you, you know, clues and red herrings. It doesn't have very much blood or gore. And then the, I would say like the subset of cozy mystery is nowadays it's come to mean kind of like a, it's cozy. It's a comforting like, I, it's either set in like an exotic or charming location with an amateur detective and like the tea shop mysteries or the cheese shop mysteries or the yarn shop mysteries or the Christmas tree farm mysteries by Jacqueline Frost. I'm not kidding. That's a real thing. So yeah, this is like this whole, this whole genre of mysteries, cozy mysteries. Um, and technically those are only a subset of cozies. Like Agatha Christie would be the quintessential cozy. Uh, but anyway, these are theoretically cozy mysteries, except I submit they are not. I submit they are actually slice of life where the main character happens to be a detective. Yeah, um, because the mist you do not read these for the mystery. You're like, who cares? Um, and honestly, I don't know if there's that many clues. Like so every so often you can figure out what's going on, but you usually know. So it's really not about the mysteries. Uh, yeah, that being said, they are wonderful. They are like a warm cup of tea and a little sliver of cake, like, perfect. They are, co they're truly cozy. They are, basically the premise is they, this woman named Precious Ramatsui, her father dies and leaves her some money and she's already had this like, you know, she's, she's rather old. It doesn't say how old she is. I picture her like being like 40 maybe. Uh, and she basically decides to start a detective agency, the first detective agency in Botswana or possibly the first woman-run detective agency in Botswana. These all take place in Botswana. And they're just adorable. Like, it's basically her running her little detective agency, and there's this uh, guy that she knows who runs a garage who totally, like, is in love with her. But she, for her own, like, reasons, she has a backstory. She doesn't want to get married. Um, and, and she has this weird secretary who joins her who oh my gosh she has such a weird personality like she's very and it's interesting too because you you don't very really know very much about the secretary in this book but then you learn more in the later books basically she's from this super poor village and she was super poor but she went to this secretarial college and got like the highest marks ever so she's kind of like not egotistical like she's humble but also egotistical it's amazing it's the characters. The characters are why you read these books. Um, Grace Makutsi is her name. And she, like, I love her, like, so much because she's really into ridiculous fashions and shoes, but she's also very, like, good with money and, you know, cares about people because she's had it super rough. But she's also super proud of her, like, I think it was, like, 97% score or something on her, like secretarial exams. It's just so cute. And again, you read it for the characters. You're like, mysteries? Who that cares? I'm here for the like people and their lives. And again, you go through the whole thing and um, I don't even know. Is this the most recent one? I don't know. Yeah, but they're just charming and adorable. And I will say this is kind of a very, very minor spoiler, but they're so cozy. 
that there is not a single murder in this series. Maybe not. I haven't read these last two, but I very much doubt there's a murder. No. Um, there's death, but there's not a single murder. Everything is like the kind of stuff you'd actually be asked to look at if you were a private detective. Like, you know, my husband disappeared. Did he run off with another woman? Or... You know, is some guy stealing our office supplies or things like that? Like they're normal, you know, is this person having an affair? Yeah. So there's normal everyday mysteries. And the other adorable thing about it is often you might know what's going on, but then you're like, okay, how do we solve this without anybody getting hurt? So it's like, you know, you, you can understand this person's situation and this person's situation. How do you fix it so that it's the best for everybody? And again, they're just charming and cute and delightful, delightful. I read this, the reason my, okay, if you can see, okay, <laughs> this is my series. As you can tell, it doesn't match at all. Uh, A, I'm way too cheap usually to actually care about my covers matching. I'm like, oh, I don't have money. <laughs> uh, but this was actually my grandma's, uh, set of mysteries so she started reading them when they first came out and then when they changed the covers she just kept buying them and stuff so this was her set that I inherited so I'm not gonna get rid of them because they're hers so yeah uh yeah so that's my little plug if you want to be happy if you're looking if you're like down in the dumps or you've been reading a bunch of either you know thrillers and you're kind of getting sick of thrillers or really depressing things and you're getting tired of depressing just read these series they are so sweet and cute a warm hug a warm cup of tea and happiness Ugh. yeah so that's my recommendation i'll do another video probably on not this coming sunday but maybe the next sunday and then and then in may i'll have a special set of videos for get caught reading month because it's get caught reading month so See you then. Bye.